It took Mattel six years to make this figure, but we finally have the Hammond Collection Corythosaurus. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. Uh, I don't know if it's still in stock or not, but I know Collector Jurassic might have posted a link for it a while ago, but the link shoes were the same. Alright, I want to open this so bad. What they defend with the de defining duckbill and head crest. The Corythosaurus stampedes onto the scene as Dr. Alan Grant and Paul and Al Amanda Kirby desperately flee from the Velociraptors on Isla Sarna. You can see them all there in the... So, yeah. Mine does have a, a goofy eye, but there's only one more Hammond Collection figure to come out, and that's the Nedry, and I, I should have that tomorrow. Um, the eyes are... Goofy. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, shoot. Because I'm going to have a nightmare to do it later. I got to oh, I gotta make a super big, big video. Oh, my God. When you're living with old people, they ask you the weirdest questions. And I tell my grandpa to please stop worrying about my food like if I don't want food I don't want any I'm, a, I'm an adult and I definitely don't sound like one but yeah I'm trying to, you know what I think it'll be fine I'll pull it all right let's close the mouth it took them so long to make this figure and they did such an amazing job on this thing, too. Like, I bet the original, like, if they were to put in the mainline, it wouldn't have any of this paint on the tail. Speaking of paint, let's talk about it. The paint on the head is very nice. You've got a, um, a dark mustard yellow. you got a bone white. And you got a... Oops, sorry. A, um, what is it? Almost a blood reddish orange. And you have the, the, the duck bill is a bone color and it goes all the way up to the back of the crest. You have these almost striped things going around the side. You have this, I'm going to call it purple for the remainder of the video, even though it's totally not purple. I'm going to call it purple. You got some, oh, you got some purple around the face around the eye you got a purplish stripe that goes up a little bit down all the way connects down to there very per smoothly and it goes all the way around i like how the half the leg is the the, the yellow let's call it mustard color and then the rest of the color is a almost a okay like a, a white person color white didn't mean to sound a little racist there but i don't care um, and then you got these lighter purple stripes on the back of the neck going all the way down and then through there. Give me like two seconds while I find this video to upload. I'll let you guys look at it. It's a beautiful figure, guys. Like if you're going to have to pick, like if you got to get any of the three that's coming, that's coming out, the Metria, the Irritator, I'd get this one because, well, I already have the other two. Um, three, two, one. All right, the tail. The tail doesn't have much paint, but that's okay because the, the, the dinosaur didn't have a lot of paint on the tail. Um, I'm just grateful they actually, you know, painted it. So, yeah. You got some spots, and they have, like, a border going around them. And then you just got plain black. Um, what else? Here's the other side. The other side's just a bit... It's very similar to the, the, the first side. The, the right. So, I'm gonna have the neck like that for the remainder of the video. Because I kind of like it in this pose. This is a pretty hefty figure, guys. Like, I'm gonna compare it with some other Hammond figures. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna compare my Nedry with all of the Hammond figures that's come out. Um, yeah, so now that we've covered paint, also there's paint on the claws, 
which I would expect for a Hammond figure. Okay, speaking of paint, the, the eyes are tiny. They kind of messed them up. One, yeah, they definitely goofed up my eyes. So let's go over articulation. The head can go all the way around. It can go up and down like that. Uh, the jaw can articulate. Uh, the one thing I have seen people complain about are the very big cheeks, and I agree with them. It shouldn't have these big cheeks. Um, I feel like it would have been just fine if the figure didn't have articulation. So, yeah, the neck can go up and down like that. It can spin around like that. I, I feel lucky reviewing this thing. Like, I've seen people review it. I just don't see a lot of people reviewing it. The arms can go forward and backwards, and then the elbows can move. Unfortunately, the wrists don't move, so they're stuck in this. Um, they, they're pronated. But I bet it doesn't look terrible when it's on all fours. If I can... Maybe I can get it to all fours and show you. Yeah, that, that doesn't look horrible on all fours. So they kind of got it to where... Yeah, oh yeah, the The legs. The legs can go forwards a little bit and a lot backwards. Um, they can, the hips can go... Oh, that's not my phone. The hips can go out and in, and the legs don't have a lot of paint, but uh, it doesn't necessarily need a lot of paint. Um, so, something I like is that they got the foot articulation. I'm, I'm going to compare it to the Parasaur in a few minutes. So, hit, uh, sit tight. Hopefully, I have enough storage. Um, the knees can go f forward and backwards, side to side. Uh, the ankles, technically, this is the ankle. It can't go far back, but it can go a bit forward. And the toes have their own joint. Well, this technically, this is that. This is because they walk on their toes a lot of times. So this is their that their knee. This is their ankle, and this is their whole. Like technically, their whole foot is this whole thing here. The other leg can do the same thing. It's and then the tail's on a ball joint, and it's also on a bendy wire. So you could bend it around all the time. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to release a uh, mass release of like targets uh, between July 20th and August 20th. Well, actually, I'll, I'll change my mind between July 20th and August 10th. That 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 whole like three weeks. I feel like that's when these are going to start releasing. Is that that's when they've that's when they've usually started to release. So. Yeah, so you can put this on all fours if you wanted to, if you can get the feet to, you know, go down all the way. Like, well, let's put it on the box. Oh, wait, never mind. Let's put it on this paper and try. Well, I am out of bed, so... There. There, sorry about the phone ringing. But now let's compare it to... The other dinosaurs. Okay, so this shelf I have at this house is like a temporary shelf where I keep mainly my, my di Dino Tracker stuff. But for now, I'm going to put Hammond Collection on it. Um, there's only one more figure that I need for this shelf, and that's uh, Nedry. And as I said, I should have that one tomorrow. And then we have a completed Hammond Collection. But for now, let's enjoy the Corythosaurus on this wonderful shelf. Oh, and I have uh, the, the, the Chaos Theory, and I have the Outpost set as well. So I divided them up by wave. You got the first little wave, got the second wave, and then the, the Rex. The third wave, which is kind of small. I wish I could put that up here, but I, oh well. You got... Because th these two came out, and then them two, and then they, I got that set, and then these three, and then all this came out all at once. So, yeah. Yeah, I do have Hammond, so, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to review Hammond with Nedry together. I have all the boxes and all the parts still in there. I just took out Hammond for a shelf tour, basically. So, yeah, let's compare the Cory with the Parasaur, and let's see if they're the same mold. Um... Yeah. Let me sit down. Let me put my 
him and Parasaur, which is a very good figure. And now we have another, probably, I, I like the Cory better, even though it, it's just so obscure. Um, they do, they, they are the same size, but that's to be expected. Um, they are a bit different. Um, especially if you look in the hands, the Parasaur's hands are not as pronated, while the Corythosaurus kind of is. Like, this one's got more of a sharper, like, down, while this one goes not as sharp down. Um, the legs look slightly different. The feet are probably the, no, oh, well. Yeah, the feet are the same piece, but the feet can articulate on the quarry, but on the para, they can't. Uh, the tail is is different. That's what I was more worried about, because the para's tail is too long. But the quarry's tail is not long. I mean, not, not short. It's actually a very good length. And I sound sus saying that, but, you know. Um, I would say a lot of the parts were reused on the Cory from the Para. Basically, why fix something if it's not broken? Um, I really don't like how the mouths articulate. They don't articulate right. I like the whole mouth. It's like the whole mouth isn't moving. This whole thing should articulate going straight down. But yeah, I also forgot to mention the tongue inside looks, you know... It looks weird on a white blank piece. But yeah, this one's really good. I'm sorry. Because I cannot wait for the Brachiosaurus. And then I will be getting the other Rex. Just so I can do like... I wouldn't necessarily call it a review if I get it. It'd be more of a... Uh, more of a comparison. Because I heard there are slightly different variations to it. Because I want Mattel to make... The JP3, or the J no, the JP1 para. But yeah, when I get done, when I get done with that, I'm going to put Nedry next to Hammond, where he was standing at. So now I got work to do. I got to do my stand bidding video done. Alright, guys. Oh, I'll compare it next to one of the human figures. I think the most appropriate... Sorry guys, I look absolutely terrible today. Like, go ahead and make fun of me, call me fat, call me ugly, call me stupid. <sighs> At this point, I don't even give a shit. So, I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, here's Alan Grant next to the quarry. Now, I don't know a lot about the quarries, I just really like the looks. Um, but yeah, this is Alan, a human figure next to the Corythosaurus. It looks... Very, I, th I think this is a very well made figure, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I hope you guys have a great day or night if it's your birthday. I wish you a happy birthday. If it's a holiday, I wish you a happy whatever holiday it is. Like, I don't know, but yeah. Hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you guys in the next review. See you guys tomorrow.